In this video, we're going to prove the following result. The integral of f between a and b is the same as the integral of, so let's say it one more time. The integral of f between a and b is the same as the integral between a and b of f of a plus b minus x. So first, we're going to prove this one using a change of variable. We're going to do it later using geometry, and we're going to see why these two are the same. So what we are doing now is the easiest way. And the change of variable, we let, in fact, we're going to prove that this second part, the integral between a and b of f of a plus b minus x dx is equal to this one. By using a change of variable here that we're going to call uh, y, equals a plus b minus x. You can stop here and use this variable here and get from this result to this one here. Okay, now let's do this. Let's let's start working on this. So we have, uh, we have we're gonna change this variable here, a plus b minus x, by putting y equals a plus b minus x. The first thing is we're gonna get dy dy is going to be minus dx. Okay, the next thing is that when x equals a, this will give us that y is going to be b, because we have a plus b minus a, which is b. When x is b, we're going to have uh, a plus b minus b, that means we have a. Therefore, we have the integral between b and a of f of y, uh, dx is minus dy. Okay, here, this, y, this minus, let us change the bounds. Okay, the upper and lower limit. So here, uh, we have this integral here, uh, is the integral between a and b, f of y, dy. Now, since y can be any variable, it's just uh, a silent variable, I can change it to x here. S since I showed that this one here, this part is equal to this one, I can just change it to some x. Therefore, I have the integral between a and b of f of x dx is just the integral of f of a plus b minus x dx between a and b. Okay. And I think that's uh, uh we 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 can explain this one easily here. We know that the, so we're going to do two more things, okay? We know that the integral between the same point is zero. So f of x dx is zero. Cuz when we integrate in one point we get zero. So now we're going to expand this one this integral is going to be the integral between a and b f of x dx plus the integral between b and a f of x dx it's still zero okay it's still zero that means a, the integral between f uh, a and b of f of x dx plus the integral between b and a of f of x dx is zero here we can see that the integral between b and a, f of x dx is minus the integral between a and b of f of x dx. If we take the minus here, uh, we see that the integral, I switch this one here, it's going to be minus b a f of x dx. That's what we did here for this one. We proved this one here, this minus here. Look, this one here. What is it? this one here. I, I can enter this one inside to make it look the same. Okay. So this is this one here. This minus here. When you have the minus, you just uh, 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 exchange the bounds or the lower and the upper limits with this minus here. And this is a proof of it. Okay. The next thing is that we, when we have some, some variable, the integral 
of f of t dt between a and b is the same as the integral between a and b of f of x dx. This variable doesn't mean anything. It's just uh, some silent variable. Okay? And that's what we used here. Once we get to f of y, dy is equal to this one here. Okay? I can change the, this one to some x because it doesn't matter. That's what you use here. Okay? So this is the proof of this this result. Okay? We're going to we're going to give some applications for this one and after that we're going to prove it geometrically and that's the most important thing. And that's the one that one need to memorize and keep in mind. You're going to you will see that you will you will get it very quickly. It doesn't take uh, that much of an effort to establish. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, comment, please share and subscribe. Thank you very much.